the significant things about the fishing industry was that people think, you know, how were the buildings built here? Well, I think my father's story is one of my favorite of when Mary Star of the Sea Church was being built. And we think, oh, it's the big donors. No, it wasn't the big donors. It was people like my dad who had this great idea that if every fisherman donated one ton of tuna to the um, building fund, we could build the church. And so he started the one ton of tuna program where each fisherman was encouraged to donate one ton of their salary to the building of the church. Well, it was kind of funny because, of course, it began a competition between the Italian boats and the Croatian boats and, you know, who was going to give more. But it was a wonderful opportunity for the community to come together on a and I think I look at each brick at Mary Star and think it wasn't built by millionaires, it was built by one ton of tuna at a time. Well, there, there are two significant statues and a picture of Mary uh, in that church. One of them, Mary is holding a fishing boat above the altar and it really was dedicated to the fishermen and their families for uh, guidance and building the church. The, uh, but many of the fishermen had tremendous dedication to Mary and their own their survival to her guidance. The one on top of the church that overlooks the harbor with her hands out, I happened to be there the day they lifted it. And it was like half of San Pedro was there the day they lifted it. And if you notice, she's overlooking the harbor with her hands out as a guidance. And then, of course, the, the picture in the front of the church is also a ocean theme. So that church is very dedicated to the um, seamen and their families. Mm -hmm.